The state minister in the office of the vice president, also Buyikwe district woman MP, has visited 14 families in three villages of Jimbo, Buzama, and Buyoka, who are facing displacement by the water ministry to pave way for the construction of the water treatment plant. <laughs> Residents are not contented of the recently announced compensation amounting to 2 million shillings per plot of land. There are families which are orphans who need help and have no money at all to top up and buy any other piece of land for settlement. In the meeting with the Boyuke woman MP Diana Mutasingwa called for patience as the negotiations are still going on came with the Minister of Water to help to help our people. They want the project of water to run in Jimbo, but they want compensation that they can be able to build a home, they can be able to start a new life. So we got a positive, a positive uh, reply from the Minister. We are very happy that the people are going to be compensated because they were going to be given two million. But this time round, they are going to be compensated very well and we know that people are going to leave Jimbo, the Jimbo village when they are happy with a good compensation so that the project of water can run, can run. The meeting was also attended by the State Minister for Water, Aisha Sechindi, who promised a review of the already passed resolutions. We're going to sit down with, together with the peers and the secretary and the commissioner in charge of this project to see that at least a person can get a maximum of 10 million and the minimum for those ones who have gotten uh, small plots they can get the minimum of seven millions so that they can construct, they can buy other plots. The already approved project is funded by the government of Uganda by a loan of 20 billion shillings acquired from the African Development Bank without compensation funds. Abdul Nasir Lubama, UBC News.